Hello, everyone. It's Sunday, March 26, 2023. I am Doug. It's time again to play some Wordle. Uh, Jimmy is my elephant. Writes, hey, could you do shine or goats next time? Interesting choice. Uh, thank you so much. I watch you every day. Well, thank you so much, Jimmy. Uh, we've done Shine a few times, I believe. So uh, I believe we'll go with... Well, actually, I don't know if goats is going to work because it's a plural. Oh, it will work. Okay, goats. That's right. So trivia fact, uh, the answer for a New York Times wordle will not be a plural, uh, but you can guess a plural. Okay, got it. Uh, sometimes I forget that little distinction. Goats gets us a T out of position. So a decent enough start. Uh, let's see. Where do we go next for evaluation? Uh, let's see. How about... I'm going to try the word price. Let's try price. What did that get me? Price? Oh, good stuff. Okay, so now we have an I in a T out of position and an E in position in the fifth space. Uh, so we can do a little bit of playing around with this, right? Uh, I don't think the I is going to be in the fourth spot. Uh, I typically don't visualize the vowel in the first position unless I've exhausted all their options. So my visualization here would be T-I blank blank E. Uh, let's see. You know, an interesting option. Uh, what about the word tithe? Is to uh, to set aside a, a part of your income for a cause. Uh, tithe. That actually might be. You know, it's a DC enough guess. Lots of position information, and it could be the answer. So you know what? Let's give this a try. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word tithe? No, it's not, but, okay, I'm good with this. We have gotten the T locked in the middle position, so now I have to rethink a little bit uh, my suggestion that the I and the E were not at the end. It's now probably the most likely uh, position. So now we do have blank, blank, T-I-E. Uh, I guess the first thing that immediately comes to my mind is the word untie, uh, which would not only get me, again, the position information locked in, but look at the U and the N, uh, two quality letters. So I feel like maybe that's, you know, think about it. Assuming that it's TIE at the end, I don't think there are any other possibilities here. Uh, let's see. No, I was going to say the word. No, that's not even a, and spelled correctly. Matey, M-A-T-I-E. That's not correct. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with untie here. That, that probably is going to be it. All right, let's go. Let's try it. Here is the answer to today's puzzle, the word untie. Yes, it is. All right. Oh, that was a good, fun little puzzle here today. Uh, so I will say thank you, Jimmy, uh, for your suggestions. Thank you, of course, one and all for watching. Uh, let's keep those comment sections active. Uh, tell me your favorite starting word, uh, anything you'd like to say about uh, Wordle or, or the show in general. Let's take all the feedback. Have a good time. Folks, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for some more Wordle.